Rated M for Mature. 50 Cent Blood on the Sand has been in development for about 19 months now. We've had 70 developers working on this, you know, working their guts out to deliver this title. We listened to the gamers' feedback, what they didn't like about the first title. We paid attention to the fans' feedback, what they did like about the first title. And we brought all of that together in the package that's 50 Cent Blood on the Sand. It's a very different game from the first one. Our story's been written by Cameron Pasha. Cameron Pasha is a producer for Bionic Woman and was one of the writers on Sleeper Cell. We're taking 50 Cent out of the familiar and putting him in the unfamiliar. 50 Cent's gone to this fictional country to perform a concert. He's been promised $10 million in payment. And he gets to the end of the gig and him and the G-Unit crew go to collect payments. But it's not there, the concert promoter stiff them. So they take payments in kind, the diamond encrusted skull. On the way back to the airport, their, their convoys hijacked for the local crime lord, Saeed Kamal and his henchwoman Layla, and that cues his explosive journey across this country to recover the skull. Early on in development, 50 Cent took a look at the game over in Los Angeles and said, you know, I really love what you're doing, I love the gunplay, but I want more, you know, I want more for the gamer. I want driving, I want flying. When we found out it was going to be a 50 Cent game, it made us want to kick it up a gear, and the opportunity to give his fans something they weren't expecting in terms of quality. It's high octane, big action. Yeah, the set pieces were an important part of that. What the gamers can expect when they play this game is an art which takes them on a journey. It takes them from the familiar to something which is much more remote, much more exotic. You kind of recognise that it's had wave after wave of occupiers, a city which is kind of like built up over time. So there's a lot of unique levels in 50 Cent Blood on the Sand. So the game contains two distinct locations, one city-based and uh, one based up in the mountains. But we, within each of those, there's a number of sub-locations. Each one of those sort of realised to create an individual mission. The level is all about giving the player opportunities to score and string together, you know, cool kills, explosions, destruction. Our explosions and our particle effects and our environmental effects are absolutely cutting edge. We use fire an awful lot, so one of the things that we had to do is write particular technology to handle that fire. Many games have done fire, but we had so much of it in this, we thought we had to push it a little bit further. It's a very dynamic environment. There's a lot of set pieces going off and with floors collapsing underneath you. It's really something that players react to on a moment by moment basis. It's not just a game, it's also a package as well because we actually have the videos and the music in there so it's, it's just a whole bunch of entertainment. Like you got hit music from the Curtis album which was my last album and that's with me and Justin Timberlake, me and Robin Thicke, me and Mary J Blige, me and Akon, me and Dr. Dre, uh, me and Eminem. Hit music for the last five years is optional for them to play. There's 40 tracks on there and then 19 of them are brand new that they can hear new material. This is a huge amount of content well over an album's worth of tracks that you'll have never heard before and can't get anywhere else apart from 50 Cent Blood on the Sand.